welcome back to our IT Landy Naked course. Uh, quick recap: What is this Naked course about? What is this mini course about? We mentioned earlier, this is about you know reviewing what Azure Stack can offer and what are the major competitors and what the market can offer us at the moment. You know. However, these are all based on my you know personal opinion, and you can decide which option to go with based on your requirements. So we started with part one, we compared Oracle Cloud against Azure Stack, and the winner was Azure Stack, and then we moved to IBM, it was a bit richer than Oracle, and then we did the comparison, and a bit by bit we are moving toward a better solution, and today was, uh, so last time we reviewed uh, Nutanix, and for today we're going to do OpenStack. So I'm a favor of OpenStack, I like this tool, we're going to create, or I will be creating a lot of uh, sort of like sessions, courses around OpenStack, but today's only, you know, high level from, you know, sales, license, scenarios, stuff like that, okay? So, without further ado, do, let's we jump to this Microsoft Azure versus, you know, OpenStack. Right, let's we have a look. Again, if you recall earlier, I did mention I'm a big fan of OpenStack. However, let's have a look what Microsoft they offer against OpenStack. What is OpenStack? It's an open source cloud platform that controls large pools of compute, storage, and networking resources throughout a data center, all managed through a dashboard that give the admin control while empowering their users to provision resources through a web interface. Quick recap, open source, compute, storage, networking. Yep. Now, pricing is free of charge open source. However, some customers can purchase uh, distribution and support and subscription through leaders like VMware, EMC, Red Hat, and so on. Yeah, there are vendors who can offer you but you need to think uh, how much that will be. How they advertise uh, at the moment uh, user cases or usage cases for? Web infrastructure, application deployment, content sharing, and public hosting. Strength of this tool against the weakness. Again, these are based on, you know, a report, facts, feedback from customers. According to survey by Cloudify, OpenStack is the most widely deployed cloud infrastructure. As of September of 2017, IDS study stated that OpenStack continued to, you know, gaining their feet around the market, and they are really quite good. Weakness. You need to find out to and determine which OpenStack distribution to utilize. You know and it could be more complicated and OpenStack has you know notoriously steep learning curve which means you know it's like a Linux basically you need to have the right resource otherwise you will end up paying more than other vendors yeah this is what happened if you're going to purchase other tools okay now what Microsoft they offer at the moment uh, all what we can see here it's thinking about the investment Microsoft are doing at the moment with Azure, Azure Stack, and how flexible Agile, Cloud, cloud or Pran is, you know. Also, you need to understand the investment by Microsoft into this open source technology. We, we, we are aware, like, they are improving, you know, introducing, like, Linux and other tools, you know, and uh, the main focus around Linux. And this is the hybrid scenario, is the nature of, you know, what they offer you. However, back to OpenStack, you know, I personally deployed, you know, the OpenStack as a, you know, how can I describe, you know, like as a, as a, as a infrastructure, basically, you know, having Microsoft, uh, even some VMs or images with Windows on it, for some customers, it does work really well, you know, however, bear in mind, it's an open source, the only issues, I have with OpenStack. It's not an issue, technical issues. It is finding a resource to maintain and manage the environment. This is the only challenge I have with this, you know, OpenStack. Other than that, it's a great tool. Let's really recap. It's an open source, so you don't need to pay a license. It does work with compute, storage, networking. 
So for hyperconverge, it is, according to some reports, you know, the most widely deployed tools. Yeah, it's gaining a lot, a lot, you know, presence in the market. However, the challenge you might face is not having the right resource to support, maintain, especially if you have critical business, you know, apps or systems. Imagine the system goes down and you have no support. And if you seek a help from one of the major vendors we mentioned earlier, like Dell or others, you get charged a lot for support, you know. So think again, because this session is not about the technical, how you can manage maintain, but limitation issues you might face. Now, again, back to where we were before. If you, you know, like what I, all what I have to say about Microsoft in this scenario is, if you are paying, you know, you will get, you know, what they offer at the moment with the Azure stack and Azure and the investment support and their commitment around you know open source and so on so these are the old i can see but other than that this tool is great you know i love this tool and i will be recording more sessions around these tools so the winner today between azure stack and OpenStack, i will call it a draw due to the fact i will not you know favor one against others but because you know i'm talking about you know the investment and the hybrid scenarios i'm not talking about just out of the box greenfield so think about a greenfield oh great i can do open stack build the environment the only issue will be the support how much you're going to pay for support and what you can do around drs and stuff like that with your sla on the other hand you go to microsoft most of the time you will have a, a transformation non a greenfield so you can think about what you need to do coexistence which will be a winner here but I'm not sure about the uh, license and the charges for Azure Stack. I was told, again, based on experience, it costs cheaper, but sometimes it might be expensive. Again, check the roadmap. So this is what I had for us today. I love OpenStack. It is a great tool, and we will be recording more sessions around, technical sessions around OpenStack. Uh, thank you for watching, and I shall see you at part five which is another sort of one of my favorite tools this scenario will be a vmware with aws let's we have a look at that one until then thank you very much for watching and i shall see you at part five goodbye